Hey, welcome everyone. Uh, today is the Tuesday episode. It is August 1st, a new month, uh, and we are going to talk a little bit more about product research today. I have a few more strategies for you, a um, few things I'd like to share on uh, some ways to uh, do your product research. Um, it's a big important part. Don't get stuck on one product. Uh, I know when I started, I wanted to only do products that I liked, things that I uh, knew about, that I liked. And to some degree, that's good because you know the market, you know what type of people um, like that stuff. But also remember that just because you like it doesn't mean that everyone else is going to like it or that a lot of people like it. I know I thought I had a ton of good ideas and I thought my brain was just filled with uh, people were just going to buy everything that I thought of. And I learned quick that I am wrong most of the time. Um, so you want to uh, you want to do research on a lot of different products so that you not necessarily have a for sure chance of winning, but if you launch, say, 100 products, one of them is definitely going to hit. I try to do uh, between 5 and 20 a week and then play around with different targeting. If I have five, I might have five products, but different targeting. and uh, We're not going to get into that today. So product research, that's what we're doing. We're going to stay focused today. So I'm going to show you a few things. Let's minimize this. Bam. All right. Can you still see me? All right. So... Uh, let's go to Google Trends. Google Trends, uh, we went over Niche Miner last episode. Uh, I like that. Now, with Google Trends, it shows you what's trending in the world right now. And then our goal as marketers is to ter determine, and capitalists, is determine how to take that trending event that's happening in the world and turn it into money for us in sales. And so you see Shark Week, Trump, and... Healthcare. So healthcare, um, I'm sure you could probably think of maybe something that you could fit into there, maybe something with the shirt. I know with the Trump administration, um, regardless of your party affiliations, I'm a capitalist, so I'm trying to make money. I, it, Democrat, Republican, doesn't matter. So in the media a lot, Trump is being talked about as uh, people don't like him and he's doing all this bad stuff. And they're talking about possibly impeachment. So I have this brilliant idea, print on demand. A good, uh, good way to make money is original products and unique products. So you want something that no one else has. So I was thinking of a shirt that said uh, a, a perfect, perfect print on demand. You could do um, uh, Trump, Trump's face as a peach. A peach is, is orange like it, like his face. Have a peach, and then then have his hairdo. Have his hairdo on the peach, and then above the peach say, "I apostrophe M I'm," and then A really really little, and then peach, and then the people that are gonna want that are liberals and Democrats. So you target party affiliations on Facebook, just like Russia did in the elections. They're brilliant, and you target the party affiliation with that shirt and you could probably sell it to ton, tons of liberals will want that tons of democrats will want that people that don't like trump would think that that's a cool shirt now you could do the same thing back in the election for hillary you could say hill hill liar or whatever they were calling it and print on demand so a little little thing on that so when you're looking at these trending things you want to look at how you can monetize that so shark week you could sell a shark uh a shark necklace, a shark ring. Um, look, Donald Trump again. What else? We got soccer. You could sell. Um, you could make. If I don't know much about soccer, but maybe one of these um, soccer players. You got to worry about copyright to somewhat, but you could do. Uh, you could have like their number and like like LeBron James. Like you could say like twenty three and then have a crown on it or something for he's known as the king. Um, whatever you want to. Whatever whatever it is. So you just look in here. And then let's say you already have an idea. So elephant, we've been doing elephant necklace. So actually I'm going to do uh, elephant. You can do elephant necklace. So look over here. So people are actually searching for it. Now with Facebook, a good technique with Facebook. So when we're advertising on Facebook, you want to, you're, we're trying to get impulse buyers, people that aren't going to find that product anywhere else. We have to find an original product. 
let's, so an example, you're not going to, um, you're probably not going to advertise pens on Facebook because you can just go to Staples or anywhere to buy. I'm going to go to Amazon to buy a pen. I bought a pack of these the other day. I'm going to Amazon to buy that. Um, you're not going to market to me on Facebook no matter how much I like these shirts. It's just not going to happen. Um, you want to, so you want to find impulse. So a lot of people are searching for it. You, you want to kind of gauge it. You, uh, if it's a highly searchable item and it's common and you can find it anywhere, like so elephant necklace. People are searching for elephant necklace. That's good. That means that we have a market for elephant necklaces. Now, you can buy an elephant necklace on Amazon, but th there's hundreds, thousands of elephant necklaces. So what we do is we want to find the coolest elephant necklace, the newest one, the one that no one's seen before. And then put that on Facebook and maybe you can sell it for a month before everyone else copies you or two weeks or, or, or make a few thousand dollars off of it. And, um, but this is a, so th this is another, why won't it let me scroll? Oh, here we go. Okay. So we're in just in the U S so no one else is searching. So let's do, um, let's do, uh, um, uh, I was going to do a ring. Let's do, um, um, let's do bracelet or charm bracelet. Perfect. Charm bracelet. So you can see it did spike right here. It's got some traffic. Um, it kind of died down, but there's still, uh, there's still other, other things. So I just kind of want to show you how to use this. You can do it, um, on your own. So you can also say, let's say you were comparing charm bracelet to elephant bracelet. And then you are also curious in the dog niche or the cat niche, cat bracelet. Then you can compare them and see which one's going to do better. So look, look at this. So elephant, cat, you, you, there's hardly any traffic compared to the charm bracelet. This is a really good way to tool to use. Then you go down here. You can see all the countries. Um, countries are good. So you can mark it to, you can see that. That United States, Canada, Australia, Brazil, they're not going to speak English as much, so it may, may not be uh, ideal. But like Ireland, United Kingdom, anywhere that speaks English, Australia, Canada. Um, and it, it, hey, if you know uh, – the, the way to make money is do what other people aren't willing to do. So if you know how to speak Spanish or if you're willing to go hire a Spanish speaker, you could have a Facebook page. Hire a Spanish speaker on Upwork.com for $5 an hour. Type all your product descriptions. Have them translate everything you do. Then market to Mexico and uh, the U.S. And a lot of other people are not able to do that. And uh, so it, it's just you want to do what other people aren't willing to do. So that's that's one that's one um, product research. I'm going to show you another one. I'm trying to pack as much value into this as possible. I know I talk a lot. Hopefully you're getting value. Um, so in here, best selling. So we go in here. So these are the top selling. Now, if you just look at this once, you don't really have a good idea because I've been on here. Um, I haven't been on here for a while, but I know that this thing that's pretty much always on here, uh, one of these, that's been on here, that's been on here, those have been on here. Um, but other stuff new, I've never seen this, never seen this. So 8,530 orders maybe in the last month. Like sometimes things just all of a sudden pop off. It's nuts. And then you can search by category. Like again, but if you look at this every single day, every day, just make it a habit. Go on here real quick. Look, go on. Uh, oh, there we go. So here's another one. eBay watch list. Watch list. This is a good, good another way to do product research. Uh, I don't want that. Um, what it's, it's not uh, watch count. That's what it's called. eBay watch count. So you can go in here and let's say you're in the, uh, you want to, you want to do camera stuff. Look, look at this. Look at this. So all these, all these items people are buying on, on eBay. You can see 5,000 people are watching that item. Even if they're not buying it, that means that look at that. But look, just as many people are, are buying it as, the, as they are watching. That's a really good sign. And uh, and then you could go on AliExpress right here and camera accessories. And 
And so back to that best selling thing, just go on that best selling and look at it every day. And if you see something that pops up that's brand new like this, I've never seen this. If you, if I caught it the first day or the first hour it came out, I could probably make some sales off it. Um, this, th those chains, you look at that, 379 for that chain. You see though, I see those that I, I have one. It's silver, but it, it's the same idea. It's I, I probably paid way more than 379 for it. Um, mouse, uh, what what you can do with a mouse is write a blog post on your Shopify store uh, about uh, maybe go find a mouse on Best Buy. Go over here to Best Buy. Type in gaming mouse. Gaming is a huge niche, and then you target like League of Legends. Go search for popular video games going on world of warcraft call of duty um just anything that's hot right now uh dota and um overwatch um and i only know that because I've, I've done the research on this so uh gaming mouse so we're gonna find an expen expensive gaming mouse i'll get back to everything else i was doing i just want to do this while i'm thinking of it so show you guys so look at this so sixty dollars for a mouse so actually i would personally do like a hundred to 149 there's a lot in there um, and then update. Yeah. So I would take something like this and write a blog about it or find like some reviews and repurpose the reviews and this keyboard. Take a keyboard and a mouse. You, uh, check out what the pro, what pro gamers use. What it, it, let's, let's say you wanted to target to League of Legends, take a pro gamer from League of Legends, put the stuff on a blog post, put mouse and keyboard, Price at Best Buy, just like you see on re I've read review sites like this all the time. So you you put the items on the review things, and then um, you put the items up, pictures. Hey, this one's 109. This one's 129. Pro gamers use these mouse. They have all these functions. It's awesome. I personally think that you can uh, that you don't need to spend that much. We've we here have done some research for you and have found that you can get a comparable mouse for 20% of the price and this week only we're doing 50% off then you sell and then you show your mouse you show some com comparable features you go in here this says 1200 12,000 DPI optical technology seven button design USB 2.0 connectivity so all you do is you go in here oh look they already got a keyboard right here oh it's out of stock but you can find a keyboard. So look at this. So DPI 5,000. So you just say 5,000 DPI instead of 12,000 DPI, but it's only a tenth of the price or a twentieth of the price. Well, you, you charge 20 bucks for it. You got $15 profit, maybe maybe $14, $13 profit. And then you do, uh, and then you pay like five, 10 bucks for a customer, write a blog post, just another way to do it. Um, and so this has 5,000 DPI compared to 12,000. USB 2.0 connectivity, sounds cool, right? Everything is USB. This is USB, this is a wireless mouse. I can make this sound way better than that gaming mouse that this was 20 bucks. Look at this, you can find the cool colors. Market a couple, test all three of them. See which one works best. Try a blog post, try it. So back to the camera thing. So you got that, that's, that's a way to do it. So you can go here to camera. Camera, let's say camera bundle. Hmm. All right. So, camera bundle. Look at this shit. Fuck. 1600. Look at that. That's just for the camera. People are fucking crazy. Well, this is a passion that needs. They're not crazy. I, I've spent $1,500 on Seahawk tickets before. <laughs> people call me fucking crazy for that so but the crazy part is is that why I'm saying it's crazy is that if I bought an $1,800 Seahawk ticket and then I found that I could buy the a comparable ticket for well that's still 429 no wait we're, we're going back to uh, we're going back to this that's what we're doing so camera bundle I'm sorry camera bundle so we can see 1600 on Best Buy we've done some product research we can see 430 on eBay. You got a GoPro thing here, 400. That that's a great deal. Then you go to so right here. Look at this shit. That's a GoPro bundle right there. I need I need half this stuff. I'll probably buy this later. Or 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 
it, it, just shop around. Go. On. I, I would probably personally, if I was going to buy it for myself, I'm going to go on Amazon. I'm going to shop around on Amazon. I'm going to find it for 40 bucks or 50 bucks, and I'm going to get it in three days versus – or no, look at this, four to 13 days. I'm probably going to buy this one. I'll, I'll save this. Um, <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. So look at this. And then you don't have the 12 to 20 days shipping, the 35 to fucking 50 or whatever. You're solid. And then people are – then you, you just go in here. See how people are uh, – because I don't know anything about cameras. I don't know what people want in cameras. I don't know the cool stats. If you tell me uh, a ticket, I'm going to tell you what concert it's to, what day, who else is going to be there, um, the view that you're going to get. If you buy a uh, – a, uh, uh, I don't know because I, I, I know the value in a ticket. So in, in this camera, I don't know what what value – how to provide value for somebody. I'm going to say, hey, it's a camera. It, it's $1,800. Bucks. It probably, it's probably pretty cool. I don't know why – what makes a camera $1,800. I have no idea. So I'm going to look into something. They don't even have good descriptions here. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with Best Buy. I don't shop on here very often. So maybe they just don't have uh, – see how easy this is? You don't even have to – write a description people are just like oh Sony let's buy it so let's look at this one Nixon so right here so description they don't even put that much these are kind of lame descriptions in my uh, in my opinion but there, there's other reasons why you buy it you already know other people bought it so 24.2 megapixel that's that's an important issue so let's actually find a camera. Let's find a camera real quick. I found little mini spy cameras, like little ones that you can you could put. Like they're all, they're super cool. I, I I might buy one soon just to like shoot like hidden video kind of stuff. But it's like a little camera like the size of this, and you could just you, I could put it in my hat or something like right here and just videotape stuff. And it's like six bucks. Even if it only works for five hours for me and then it breaks after that, that's pretty cool. So what's this? It's a 1080p action camera. They have a lot of these on here. And a lot of times you'd be surprised. You might want to buy it for yourself. So a good thing with this, since it's over $50, I would buy something like this. I'd buy it. Um, like the mouse, you could do the blog post or just do a post on Facebook because it's 20 bucks. But when you get above $50, if you're going to charge people more than 50 you need to provide more value and more trust so that they know – um, like I, I know I'm not going to spend, uh, $50 on, on something from a bogus website. I'm going to probably buy it from Amazon. I'm going to look for really good ratings. Uh, so with something like this, I might buy this camera for $75. I'm, I'd probably hit this, hit this guy. I wouldn't buy it from this guy, but I would hit the store up, text him, ask him for a Skype call, talk to him. And then maybe even down here, sometimes they have videos of product descriptions down here. But what I would do is I would buy this camera and then I would go shoot some stuff with it. I'd go make um, a cool – I'd go skydiving I, or I'd go to the racetrack. And I'm going to use this camera skydiving and shoot it. And then I'm going to post that skydiving picture on YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Uh, it's it's going to get views because uh, people like to watch – adrenaline type of stuff like skydiving or jet skiing or or fun stuff where you're having fun I'm gonna shoot that video get views because it's a viral type video then it's also hey shot with this camera read more about it here then maybe set up a blog post GoPro our camera look at the quality difference 2% difference and you save 400 bucks it took me a long time to close myself to buy a GoPro but a uh, $80 camera, who knows it? We, we who it, it's the trust. I don't know if that $80 camera works or not. But once you have enough money, you could invest in an $80 camera or 10 products. Try 10 kind of expensive products out. Find one that's really really good. Get in relationship with these suppliers. You can you can go right in here right now. How long? Did I still got time? Yeah, all right, we got a little bit more time left. So you go in here to the supplier, and. You should be able to um, – oh, maybe I have to sign. Oh, I don't – There's you can you can message the seller. Where do you, where do you message him? Probably back here. You 
message seller. It's usually pretty easy. Seller, get feedback, visit store, contact now, right here. So you log in, you type them a message or you say, hey, can we do a video chat Skype call and get in relationship with these suppliers. Um, I have one supplier where I'll search for, I'll, when I do my product research, I send him stuff and I'm like, hey, I found it for this much. Can you beat it? And he's like, yep. I'm like, when will you have it on your store? It'll be up there in three days. Okay, I'll save any orders I get for you. Done. And and he knows um, that I'm a serious guy. I've, I've sold, uh, he was a fairly new supplier. Um, he had good ratings, but he was fairly new. I've sold probably over 1,200 items for him. Um, and I know it's not a ton, but... Uh, for me and him, he's kind of starting out. I'm kind of starting out. We're going to help each other. Any that The niche that I'm in right now, anything that has to do with that niche, I'm hitting him up first because I already have – I know he's he's good. I like He gets me my products. If they don't show up, I, he charges me a penny just because you have to – who knows? He can make his penny on me. Charges me a penny, sends out a new new thing, no problem. He's cool. I've, I've made him – thousands of dollars so if I do have an issue on I think I've had an issue uh, with five people out of a thousand um, pretty pretty fucking good PayPal is now giving me all my money so I'm just scrolling so what else so we got Google keyword uh, I want to show you Google Google keywords is a really cool cool thing um, I'm probably not gonna be able to show you right now so what you do with Google Keywords, so in order to have Google Keywords, you need to set up an AdWords account. And with your Shopify store, you should get a free $100 credit to AdWords. And what AdWords are is, um, watch, I told, so Trump, you wouldn't think that you could buy stuff. Let's just try this out. It's a trending topic. No, it didn't work. So I'm looking for the ad post right there. So what was the other, what was the other thing, charm bracelet? So charm bracelet. You guys having fun? Is this is this good value for you? Subscribe to the channel if you like it. Um, if I'm providing value for you, this is just some stuff that I I learn. Um, trying to trying to just go go go. This didn't work again. Um, charm bracelet maybe. So these are sponsored. They've been doing that a lot. So they probably paid. I, I haven't done AdWords yet, but you can pay for these these things. So when somebody types in charm bracelet, you get a hundred dollars free on Shopify. Use that. Um, and then use that to log in. Just set up a fake ad real quick. Turn it off right away. That's what I did. And then, um, uh, and then, yeah. Don't do this. Don't worry about signing up for stuff. All you're gonna. You're, my email. I get like a hundred emails a day. I sign up for a lot of stuff. This is a new. It's a new thing. Um, it, it's. I'm. I'm completely new to it. I'm. I'm learning every day on how to. Um, minimize stuff. I'm taking notes every day. The things I learned yesterday, I'm going to, I'm going to try to, I always strategize every day and think of, Hey, maybe this will work. Maybe this will work. Maybe. And I always have 10 things that might work. And then seven days in seven days, I'm going to figure out which ones work and which ones don't. And I want to pass them on to you. This is stuff I have found. So you set up a Google AdWords account and, um, then it kind of works like Google, Google trends. You type in a word, but instead of just tell, giving you this like graph uh, of of stuff, it'll actually tell you, hey, in the month of July, 100,000 people searched this keyword charm bracelet, and then a million people search for charm, and then uh, your competition right now are paying 70 cents per click compared to the average two dollar per click. So you know that, okay. A million people. There, there's a. You have a market. B. Um, if the cost per click is lower than the average, you know you have a market that is not highly competitive yet. That's what. That's the golden niche. The golden niche is something that large profit margins that people want. There's hundreds, millions of people that want it, and that uh, you um, and that there's not much competition. If, if there's tons of competition out there, like uh, like uh, like the tr like the, the the print on demand, the peach shirt that I, I told you about, I came up, I sat there for like 30 minutes. I was thinking of this, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm drawing it out. I drew it out, did all this stuff, and uh, 
And then I was like, let's just see if somebody else has had the idea. The internet's a pretty big place. There's 7 billion people. Let's see if anyone else thought of this. Typed it in. There's like eight shirts that people have already come up with. But the goal is I need to market mine better than yours and I need to come up with a design better than yours. So you can go to Upwork.com. Let me just show you that real quick since we can keep talking about it. Upwork.com. There's Fiverr and other stuff too. Um, and set up an account here. And you can go in and um, browse. So let's say you need a virtual assistant or, yeah, let's just do virtual assistant. You want somebody to just do bullshit for you. Me personally, I like my, um, I like them to do customer service because now I get like 100 messages a day, which isn't a lot yet, but 100 messages a day typically most people don't really call and thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'd be nice if they did, but only about 10% of those 100 messages are going to be thank yous and people that are happy. And most of the people that are happy, you just never hear from them. And then 90% uh, of those people are going to be pissed off and want to know where their order is. And ten, things tend to work themselves out. I put right on the product three to five weeks, but most people... Um, they uh, just don't read. They, Like I said, they just click, 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 buy. Hey, where's my product? It's been two days. Okay, sir, um, I, please wait three to five weeks for delivery, and then they're good. But I, but reading, reading just constant negativity for like an hour or two a day, it's going to screw with your head. And you're the CEO now. You are in charge. So you want to be, ha you want to go work out, you want, which I need to be doing more. You want to go have fun on a daily basis. You... Uh, you need to be keeping your brain, your brain good. That's why you're getting um, paid for. Uh, that's why you get paid more as a CEO. Why? Why do we think CEOs? Hey, they get paid ten thousand times more than than the person at the bottom. Well, person at the bottom reads a book a week or a book a year on average, and average American, um, average American usually doesn't save and spends all their money, and the CEO has uh, saved in order to start that business. Also, if that business fails, he's shit out of luck, he loses everything, so he's taking all the risk, or she. And uh, they read on average 50 books a week, and they're they're doing stuff, they're going to seminars, conferences, they're investing in themselves, buying programs. Um, I'm going to a conference at the end of the month, it's gonna probably cost me seven or eight hundred dollars, and then probably I'll spend another 500 just on, on things, but I 100% believe that when I go to that conference, I'm going to find a way to get $1,300 worth of value out of that conference. I'm going to go meet a millionaire. I'm going to go, uh, one, there's two people in particular that I'm trying to go shake hands with and they both, one's, a, uh, one, he just started a Shopify store, uh, named Damon Coughlin. He's, uh, he, he's awesome. I followed him. You can find him on Facebook. He started his store in November um, of 2016. He's already at like $750,000. And with no prior experience, I want to model after that. That's what I want to get to. I want to do a million dollars by the end of the year. And Chris Record, he started in 08. He makes like 10 million a year now. Million. Those two, th those two guys in particular. There's tons of other people that are awesome on on social media and, and ecom. But those two. Um, but you have to invest in yourself. You have to um, invest in yourself. And that's why CEOs get paid more. So, um, so yeah, Upwork is great. Um, eventually, it's just going to get to the point where you can't handle it all. I could work 14 hours a day and do everything myself, but um, when I'm going to try to create an ad and design and, and think up something new and creative, it's just not going to work. So set up an account on Upwork. There's Fiverr. You go to Fiverr. I think you could offer people. I haven't used this one yet. You can offer people like five bucks to do a task for you. Um so, and then on AliExpress, let's see. So, I'm probably going to cut this uh, video short, but just to kind of recap what we did. Um, niche miner on the last video for product research. Uh, when you, um, I'll do this real quick. Shopify, or uh, so, type in, oh, maybe I didn't do this. So, site, my, my Shopify. Shopify.com, and we're gonna keep doing elephant necklace. Well, let's do charm bracelet. 
maybe you could probably copy copy what I do here. So, um, so let's just go to the first one right here. Now this, so you can see, so what we're doing right here, um, so this is, I'm not going to explain exactly how this works, just copy, type this part in, you're going to search for other Shopify stores, and then in quotations put your niche, or just, and then go in here, and you can see kind of, so this is a top site, like, it takes a while to rank up this high, if you're ranking up this high, you got traffic, this, this is probably a, a minimum 10,000 a month store, but it's probably more like 100,000 or way more. Um, so look at all this. So you, you, you can go through here, see how they have it designed. So they got that app again, like I showed you in the last video. See how this is designed. Go through here, do research, figure out what people are doing. Just like if, like the CEO of Walmart, when you open up Walmart, he would walk around to other people's uh, stores and he would measure aisle lengths. Stupid, weird stuff like that. But you, you can, the theme, the theme that they're doing, how this is designed, how many uh, collections they have, how many products they have on each page. This stuff might seem minor, but I guarantee that Amazon has some people doing analytics on that kind of stuff right now. Look at this, 985 products on their store. Nine, but they know that they're probably running ads to each of these products. That's, that's smart. And then what they're doing is they're doing a dollar. They're seeing if they're gonna get just you're going to lose money on your first couple ads anyways, but they're they're doing this to see if they can get purchases. Then they slowly increment up the, the price. Also, while you're doing that, your pixel is learning. So your, your pixel is getting data. Um, even though you're not making money yet, your pixel is getting data. Then by the time it has data, then you up the price. C, A, if it's still selling. And then B, your pixel already has data. It knows how to find those buyers. Then it's going to go into like ultra mode. That, that's what I did for my first product. I, I, I went from... Uh, $10 a day to $1,500 a day in 10 days. Uh, it didn't last for long. I, I, I wanted to create new problems for myself, so uh, I purposely did that, and I, I found some new problems, but I learned a lot of stuff, um, and that's what you got to do. If it's too easy, um, make it harder. You just start spending more money or something. Uh, do something that is hard. So, so this is, and then we can go in here. So we go in here. And we do, uh, so we type this in. Now, this isn't going to work on everyone's Shopify store. If they have a web designer, they can, um, they can filter this out. But, so we sorted by best selling. So now, you know. So this is a site ranking number one on Google for charm bracelets. They got 985 products. They got, they, they're, they're doing good. I believe so. And now you have their best selling products. Out of all 985 products, these are the top four products. These are the second top four. If you if if I if if I had a girlfriend or if I was a girl, I would make a YouTube channel or or go on my Facebook and I would buy maybe some makeup like this. And I would do a tutorial, I'd do my eyebrows, I would do I would do my eyelashes and, and makeup and as long as you're pretty or makeup makes it you anyway I'm not gonna get into that but um, you can uh, if you get good at makeup I, I I think I think anyone could have a good YouTube channel no matter what you think you look like if you can if you, you can do a good makeup tutorial girls are gonna watch you probably some guys are gonna watch you too um, and uh, and then do a YouTube hey look at these oh aren't these eyelashes so cool like like do you like these and and then uh, hey, look, I, I found these eyelashes on this website. Then you link to your website, found them on this website. They're doing 50% off this week. I ended up buying like 10 of them. Go on there, check them out. Tell me what you think. You just reviewed a product. They trust that that product is good because you bought it from that website. And it's not lying. It, people do it all. Russian hacker, um, he's brilliant. The Russian hacker uh, dude on YouTube, he reviews products. And I, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I could almost guarantee that either he's being paid by people or he puts his product on Amazon, then buys it, then reviews it. Hey, this product's so cool. Check this out. Oh, this is awesome. Da, 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 da. And then, hey, you can get this product here. Sells tons of stuff. I was watching a John Oliver yesterday. All right. This is the last thing. So I was watching a John Oliver last night on Sunday. John Oliver talks about uh, Alex Jones. I always thought that dude was crazy. 
I, I watched it a few times. I was like, dude, this guy is nuts. But he has a following. I, I, I as much as I d- dislike Jake Paul, he has a huge following. Like, I would never hang out with the guy, but you can't hate him. He, he's making a million dollars a month plus. Like, I, I'm gonna copy. Uh, I'm gonna learn from him somehow, whether you like him or hate him. Learn from him. So, Alex Jones. Crazy dude, yelling all the time, conspiracy theorist, just outlandish stuff. But you're controversial, you get views. He gets the views, then he's like, hey, I need a – man, we don't – we just don't have any money left, guys. Like I don't know how I'm going to support this channel. I know you guys are getting value out of this out of this channel. I would love to do more product research for you. I just don't know. I, I just – I can't um, – I, can, I barely – I'm going to get evicted tomorrow if, if, if you guys just don't subscribe to my channel. And if uh, and to support my channel, go to the site in the description right there. Set up your Shopify store like – if, if you don't set up your Shopify store and if those products down there, I'm, I'm selling everything in my in my house or I'm, I'm, I'm selling these headphones just to support. I found them from this supplier. He gave me a bunch for free and I just have – I have thousands of them sitting in my house. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this inventory. Can you please help and support? I'm even going to give you 50% off all these headphones. Just please support me in the links. I want to keep this channel going for you. And people feel bad. They go buy the headphones. They, it's a gr- it's it's a phenomenal business plan. Whether or not you like it or not, he's making money. He he can he can just turn off his YouTube channel, go to Italy, hide out for a year with his family, and and it doesn't really matter at that point. So, and he sells tons of those things. Check out the John. He sells tons, tons and tons of stupid health products. But to review, so unique products. We went over a few different ways to uh, do product research to make sure you have. You can do Niche Miner, uh, the site My Shopify. You can add the collections tag at the end. Um, Google Trends, try to find trending things, even better yet, something that's about to trend, and find how you can monetize that event that's happening. You can uh, use uh, Google Keywords. You can um, go through AliExpress, go to best selling items. Um, print on demand. Find an original product. Um, original products always win. If you have something, if, if everyone selling it is is not as good. Kim Kardashian, as big of a following as she is, she gets attention. You need to get people's attention. Kim Kardashian, huge following, gets tons and tons of people's attention. As much as people hate her and talk shit about the Kardashians, they have a following. People pay attention to them. She sold $14 million worth of makeup products in a day. I think less than a day. People give her attention. You need to get people's attention when you make these ads. How do I get people's attention? How do I have a trending product? Don't think about how to make one sale. Think about how to get a million sales. I'm trying to think about how, how do I get a million views on YouTube. I don't know how to do that, but that's that's my goal. I, that's what I, I'm not trying to get 10 views. or I know I'm only at a few, but I want, I'm want i trying to aim for the top. And so – you, you, you need to grab people's attention that and products under 50 try to stick under 50 unless you're gonna um, uh, if you go under 50 you can do it just like how I laid it out in those previous it's that easy the set up your just make it easy Brooklyn go through my old videos you can see exactly how I set it up it's very easy to sell five to thirty forty dollar products when you get up to 50 and more um, you're, you're going to need to, uh, show people that they're getting some good value there. So we're going to end that there. Hopefully you got some value out of that and, uh, see you guys later. We'll stop.